uh, see this is a 25 year old uh, male patient is having a chronic knee pain and you can see there is a stir hyper intensity uh, on the distal femur here uh, with some cystic uh, areas within and uh, if you can make out on uh, T1 weighted images uh, the cortex is discontinued as you go down uh, if I just uh, could scroll it and uh, tell you about uh, stole on there uh, all right I could uh, show you that <coughs> it indeed is discontinuous here right now and um, if you see very closely right here you can see there is this um, elevation the triangular elevation uh, most likely cordman's triangle uh, right there so this cordman triangle as well as this large soft tissue lesion with a cortical discontinuity will um, all of these features are suggestive of uh, uh, sarcoma osteosarcoma in this case uh, if you see uh, uh, pdfs images uh, you will see some cystic changes as well as this large uh, heterogeneous uh, lesion right here uh, so the osteo osteosarcoma with having multiple cystic changes uh, are most likely the telangiectatic type however uh, aneurysmal changes kind of but it's not that big so i will still like to stuck with conventional osteosarcoma here uh, so whether the joint is involved or not that becomes important uh, so that they can uh, decide on which type of resection they are doing and unfortunately here i feel the joint is involved because if you see uh, closely the distal part of the cortex is gone there so unfortunately the joint is involved um, i don't know exactly what kind of resection they do but uh, that's what it is um, all right then so that's that uh, what else uh, do i need to tell you on this on axial images um, you see the same lesion right here uh, I um, just wanted to tell you what I learned from one of my friend, Dr. Hari in Kidway is uh, if you have um, lymphoma or uh, uh, some sort of thing, it will go around the Havertian canal. It will be uh, surrounding this and then you can make out that it is going around the Havertian canal, uh, which is not the case in osteosarcoma. Uh, however, in this age group, uh, lymphoma is not really a possibility here. So, yeah. So, this is a uh, osteosarcoma case. Thank you. And I'm going to start.